Hey everyone, this is my third and final video today, not on camera for this one, just uh, getting the quick and dirty stuff out of the way. This is about Tears of the Kingdom. If you didn't see my two prior videos today, I encourage you to go watch them. Uh, one of them was about a Tears of the Kingdom special edition, either release date or pre-order date with actual evidence and stuff. You guys can find a link to that down below. The other one was about dungeons returning in Tears of the Kingdom. You should go watch that. Uh, this video is... From the same sources, Mike Odyssey and another person that I have verified this information with when it comes to Tears of the Kingdom. And today we're going to be talking about the abilities that Link has. This should be pretty cool. So the first part, though, I want to bring up before we jump into Link's actual abilities in this game is about a time jump. So we were told that a time jump happens between Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Now, this isn't likely a you know many decades time jump it sounds like it's just been a couple of years but just to clarify it seems the game does not happen directly after the events of Breath of the Wild like I originally thought there's actually been a couple of years that have gone by that being said let's get into his actual abilities so there are some ability replacements for what we had in Breath of the Wild and these are just the ones that we were told about. There could be more. So the reverse time ability that we saw in a prior trailer is actually a form of stasis. However, you can't actually reverse time with it until you upgrade that to the next version of that stasis. So if you remember in Breath of the Wild, there was a stasis plus that let you, you know, freeze enemies in place. It's something similar to that where you're going to need to upgrade it in order to get that time reversal mechanic. Now... Another ability that you might remember, remember Link had the champion abilities. One of those abilities is still around. You guys might remember Rivaldi's Gale. It still exists, but there are specific points in Hyrule with an upgraded version. So again, think of Rivaldi Gales Plus that will allow you to essentially launch yourself into the sky through the bottom of platforms and up here. So these are just specific points. We sort of saw this at the beginning of one of the trailers when they had that little teardrop thing seemingly going up. It could be that ability. I'm not 100% certain, but this is just what I was told. Now, next up, Magnesis. Now, I don't know that this is actually called Magnesis. This is just what it's being referred to as. That ability we see where Link's using his arm to lift that object out of that lake or that river or whatever it is. And then obviously later on when he uses it to morph something midair to move a platform, it turns out that the ability to move an object around, AKA tilt it and all that stuff is actually an upgrade for that ability. So the base ability is sort of like Magnesis where you could just lift something up, move it left, right, set it down, but you'll be able to actually spin it and move it in different directions with an upgraded ability as we saw in the trailer. Now that's really the brux of what I wanted to share with you guys today. We have a lot more tomorrow. Uh, a video coming tomorrow is actually gonna detail, well, let's just say you can craft weapons in this game and we're gonna have some details on that. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, this is just the shorter of the three videos today, but I wanted to make sure I got it out and got your guys' thoughts on this. Tomorrow is going to be the finale of the information I at least have. We got stuff about item crafting and other things happening. It's going to be a really exciting video that I hope you guys are looking forward to. For now, this is my last little tidbit I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you in the next video.